viewers. viewers. So today we're finally cooking after it's snowing. So we're about to hit a lot of winter storms and in the December month. So right now it's currently almost the end of November, November 30 and then December after. So it's about snowy. It's really cold outside. Like that's minus one today. And it's really cold. So that's why we're going at home. We're cooking. So what are we cooking today? Any plans? Drumstick curry. Drumstick curry. That's similar to a drumstick leaf fry, which is like murunga ila puriye. After that, what now we're making murunga kai curry, which is basically drumstick curry, as you said. Yeah. So we're going to tell you the benefits for it. So the benefit for it is that it's the same thing almost, like similar. It contains a lot of iron, reduces inflammation, reduces cholesterol levels, also helps prevent diabetes and controls your blood sugar level. It's rich in antioxidants. That's basically the benefits of it. So before that, help our channel by subscribing and like the video if you enjoyed it. So you guys can make us like what videos we like, what videos you like, you can tell us that. And leave a comment below. Any suggestions, video ideas, any problems you guys have, just leave us below so we can answer them. We'll be happy to answer comments. So, do you want to cook? Yeah. Let's go. She's out for miles. So, as the main ingredient, we have six drumsticks here. So, before we start the recipe, we have to wash them, cut them as the next step for the recipe. We have here 15 small red onion. Also, the th with the side, we have five garlic pieces, garlic cloves. So we have here two sets of curry leaves, two green chilies, and two tomatoes. This is one tamarind. After, later we will show you how to make three tablespoons of tamarind juice. That's enough for this recipe. So we have a quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds. One teaspoon of fennel seeds is this ingredient. We have two teaspoons of fenugreek seeds. We have one tablespoon of cumin seed powder. We have here two teaspoons of curry powder. We have a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Salt as required. Five tablespoons of coconut milk. Five tablespoons spoons of sesame oil is what we have here. We have 500 milliliters of water. So some people take less, like some people take more, but we're just taking 500 milliliters of water. This is how much water we use. We cut the drumstick like this. We removed the skin also, but we also cleaned it. But this is how the skin looks. Look closely guys, this is how the skin looks. It can look like this. The skin looks like this, guys. We remove that and also clean this and cut this in the little pieces like this. So that's how we cut it and cleaned it and removed the skin. So the reason why we took out the skin is because when you eat it, it'll be really hard to eat. So that's why we took out the skin. So we're on the stove and now we're gonna pour the oil into the pot. After the oil is heated, add the drumsticks, then fry it really good. Fry it really good. Stir it in one direction. We normally do three tablespoons because we don't want to add that much oil, like a lot. And we only did it for three tablespoons of sesame oil. So we're going to fry this on medium heat. We don't use any other oil except sesame oil, but we do use other oils sometimes. But sesame oil is very unique and it gives a different taste than the other oils and it's very healthy for you. We fried the drumstick for medium heat on the towel, the pan, for about 10 minutes. On, that's how this to turn about goldish brown color. We didn't add that much oil. That's called deep frying. So it'll quickly fry in like two minutes or something, but we added a little oil, so it takes a little time to do it. 
This is enough to take out, so now we're gonna keep this aside. We're gonna add two tablespoons of oil because this is the second time we're doing something. This is into a different pot, like a pan or something. You can call it whatever you want. So this is the second time. The first time we added three tablespoons, but this time it's two tablespoons. The oil is heated, so now add the mustard seeds into the pot. After, you're gonna add the fennel seeds. We're gonna fry both of them together. Now we're gonna add the fenugreek seeds into the pan or pot. And then stir frying it. It has to come all together. Now add the small red onions into the pan or pot. The reason we add all this is because the ingredients are really healthy for you. We add the uh, fenugreek seeds, the uh, mustard seeds every video. Yes. Well not every video, every recipe. So for the onions, we didn't cut them, we took the skin off and washed them and cleaned them properly. So we didn't cut them. Yes, you said next. And now we're just gonna add the garlic cloves into the pot. Then fry really good. Next, we're gonna add the curry leaves. Add the curry leaves and now. Then we're gonna add the green chili. So all these ingredients, it's very healthy and it's really delicious. So you can eat it with rice or any other side dishes. And it's really good so you must try this. Add the clean and sliced tomato into the pot. Then start frying it really good and mix yes. it. Yes. We also wash the tomato really good. That's how we cleaned it. Mix it really good. Make sure it comes all together with the tomato. So like the ingredients, including the tomato, it has to fry properly so um everything comes together. Like, the can tomato, you explain it? Yes, the tomato has to be really fried good. They all have to steam together. You should see the steam aroma coming because if you do, then that means it's properly cooked and fried. That's why then we're gonna add the other ingredients. Yes. Now since we let it fry for a few minutes like that, now it became a little mushier, like it got mushed and it got the tomato soft. tomato got mushed more. That's the majority of the ingredient. Tomato got mushed really hard, that's what it means. The next step is to add the drumstick into the pie to fry as well. So we're gonna add the drumsticks that we fried before into the other pot, like pan, whatever. Make sure that you don't spill it outside. You have to put it inside. Now we're gonna mix it properly, up, down, and make sure everything comes together like that. Now add the turmeric powder into the recipe which is in the pot. After that, include it with all the ingredients. Then, the cumin seed powder. Good, add that and make sure it comes together with the pot. 
The next ingredient is curry powder. Add the curry powder now. The next ingredient, Priya, is salt. Right over here, we're putting it in. All the powders that we put should really be fried with the other ingredients. Look at it. Really Even delicious. with the drumstick. Because yeah. that's the main ingredient. We're going to add the water next step. Which is 500 milliliters. That's the amount of water we put. Since we added the 500 milliliters of water, now it's the same amount of the drumstick, and next we're gonna let it boil. But not next, like we're gonna let it boil though. This is boiling for five minutes so far. When we add the tamarind juice, it's gonna still boil for five minutes. So we're gonna add it. Now stir stirring it. I mean frying it. Mix it very well. First, we let it boil for five minutes. Then after the tamarind, we let it boil for five minutes. Now, after the coconut milk has been added, it's gonna be all together, it's 15 minutes. We're gonna add it now. And then let it boil for five minutes. The total is 15 minutes, as I said. After we mix it, after we keep it out for five more minutes, it's finished to take out. The coconut milk makes it smell good as well. Well, including all the ingredients, it smells delicious. Yes. Wow, look at the colors. It's really good. It really smells really nice. It's really delicious, wow. So, as the total, it's been 15 minutes we've been boiling. That's a long time. Well, not really a long time. Yes. Now it's ready to take it out. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like and comment. So this recipe has been really healthy. You guys can try this. Leave a positive review after you try this recipe. Let me know, let us know if it turned out good or bad and share us why you did it. And look at it. It just looks very fascinating and amazing. And this is a nice recipe. So this you guys is easy to digest. It. So digesting makes it easy and it's really healthy, beneficial to you. So thanks for watching guys. See, See you in the next video. video. Until, Until then, then, bye. bye.